Hi, my name is Ken Buck and I'm a solution architect for Alitech. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce you to a number of radio frequency devices or transponders which we sell. These devices come packaged in a number of different formats and support a number of different wireless communication methods. Engineers call these devices transponders, but they have more generic names like key fob or employee badge. These devices all contain a chip and an antenna, which is used to communicate wirelessly with the TWN4 card reader, which we also sell. The well-known proximity card shown in the left upper left-hand corner has a chip in both the top and left right-hand corners of the card. This card in particular has, is a dual technology card, so it contains two card numbers. We also offer this technology in a really robust package, often referred to as a key fob. Most of the wireless technologies are available in this package. We offer a unique technology called the MyFair Smart Label. This label contains a chip and an antenna and is a full-fledged transponder. The flexible label can be attached to the back of anything made out of plastic and will enable that device to be used for authentication. They can be attached to existing identification badges, obsolete key fobs, or even to the back of a cell phone. They can be purchased in any quantity and are packaged on a paper-backed spool. Shown here is the MyFair Smart label attached to the back of a mag stripe card. This is a typical application for schools which are transitioning from magnetic stripe to a proximity card for authentication. New freshmen would receive proximity cards, but rather than replace all of the existing cards for upperclassmen, the MyFair Smart label is attached to the back of their mag stripe card. When a card is swiped past the mag stripe reader, data is read from the mag stripe. And when the card is passed over a TWN4 reader, the MyFair Smart Label is read. This provides a very low-cost method to upgrade the entire school without the expense of rebadging all the students. Shown here is a memory map of the MyFair Classic Smart Label. This inexpensive device contains 750 bytes of useful memory, organized in 16 different sectors, each with four memory blocks. It can be used to simply send a card serial number when it's passed over a reader. If security is really important though, data can be stored in specific memory blocks, each of which can be locked with a unique password known only to the personnel administering your system. Any memory block can be read from or written to any number of times by your application. The TWN4 card reader writer can be used to program custom information onto the card and to read that information back at a later time. Shown here are two examples where the smart label can be used. Shown first is an application where an institution uses magnetic stripe for numerous student applications. They wanted to use the student ID card for, as a payment card for the cafeteria and vending machines and so they wanted a technology which was more secure than magnetic stripe. They used the student ID as an index into their billing system along with a secure number and they lock this information with a unique key. Shown next is a card where the employee's email address is used for authentication in the corporate network. Email addresses are particularly tricky to type in correctly and this provides a fast error-proof method which could be followed by a secondary PIN. Just for fun, this slide shows how the memory cells can be used to store information. In this case, I have typed an introduction to myself. Next, I will set up a TWN4 card reader programmed to read the card serial number off each transponder which I present. In front of you is the TWN4 reader surrounded by a number of the transponders which we sell. The TWN4 reader is configured to read the card serial number off of these devices and I have notepad open so when I pass a device over the card reader it will display the card serial number in notepad. So let's start with the FOBs. There's the card serial number for that device. Each one of these FOBs has a slightly different technology. Now let's go to the cards. Here's a high tag card. Uh, next is an HID prox card. 
Here's an HIDI class card. Here's an Indala card. A My Fair 1K card. And last is a, a My Fair Desfire card. This is a 4K card, so it has a little more memory. And then last are the My Fair Smart Labels, and this shows how they come packaged. They're on a paperback reel. I've attached the Smart Label to a few devices to give you an idea of what can be done with them. The first example, I've attached a label to the Mag Stripe card I showed earlier. So there's the Mag Stripe card. Next is a label I've attached to a student ID. This is a smart card, which we've now turned into proximity card. And here's an older technology uh, key fob, which I've upgraded by attaching a label to the back of it. Okay, next I'll reprogram the TWN4 reader, and we'll install an application which will read the memory blocks from the MyFair smart labels. We'll open up App Blaster. Hit Blast. Okay, we're done. First I'm going to present the student ID card. And it now shows my fabricated student ID. Next is the key fob with the employee email address. I also wrote my email address to one of our standard MyFair cards just to show that this feature is not unique to smart labels. And last is the card which contains my introduction. In summary, we have shown we can supply transponder devices which can present the simple card serial number to your authentication system. We can also provide transponders which can send much more complex information and which can be segmented and password protected. Our MyFire Smart Labels can enable an any easy transition from magnetic stripe cards or from older technology transponders to current technology. Our transponders are offered with competitive pricing. Please contact us for a quote or to get answers to any other questions you may have. Thank you for watching and listening to this presentation. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us via phone or email. Shown here is our contact information for the U.S. and for the rest of the world. Also shown is our email address for any support questions you may have. Thanks again for watching.